What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay Yudlowski. In today's video, we're talking about importing photos into Lightroom. So let's get into the video. So the things we talked about in the last video were where do we want to store our photos? Where do we want to store our catalog? And we went ahead and created that catalog by opening Lightroom for the first time. Now in this video, I want to talk about how to import photos into Lightroom. So I'm going to just do it real quick, show you how to easily import your photos. I'm not going to go through all the different options and uh, really cool things that you can do that help speed up your workflow, presets, all kinds of stuff. We'll get into those in other videos, but in this video, just real quick, how do we bring our photos into Lightroom? So let's jump over to Lightroom and check it out. So here we are in Lightroom. I've opened it up and since we have no photos in here, this is where we're going to get started. We're going to see a screen that says no photos in previous import. And it actually might say click uh, import to bring photos in. So the first thing we want to do is click import over here on the bottom left of your screen. So here we are in the import dialog screen and I'm just going to run over the couple sections here and show you what they are. So on the left here we have select a source. That means where are your files coming from? Generally, my files will come right from my card. I'll just import them from the card into Lightroom. So whatever card I have my camera. So and you would select that here. In this case, I actually put my photos on my computer already. So I'm just going to navigate to where those are. I've got some sample images here. In the middle section, you're going to see your photos. It's going to show you everything that's in that location that you selected. And it's going to have a little check mark here in the top left corner of each photo that will be imported into Lightroom. At the top here, you've got several different options. You have copy as DNG, which means it will copy the file in and also convert that file into a DNG file. Now, I've been using DNG files for years. Uh, I've got 80 some thousand pictures of DNG files and I've never had any problem with them. So I always convert my files to DNG. The reason is because I thought it just made more sense to have one file versus two files if I were to use the Canon CR2 files and have the sidecar file that goes with it. I'm like, why do I need two files, right? I mean, I might as well just use one. So I use the DNG. Then we have copy, which will just copy the photos exactly as they are from wherever they lie now to wherever you want to put them. Move means it'll take those files, or files, move them to a new location that you, you select. And add is, okay, leave them where they are and just add them into the Lightroom catalog, but keep them where they are. Don't touch them, don't change them, just leave them there. Once you select that, and generally I always do copy as DNG, and I'm gonna copy to a new location, import and convert to DNG. And that's exactly what it does. On the right hand side of the screen here, you have where are your photos going to go? Now you've got all kinds of different options here. I'm just gonna run through, we have file handling, under build previews, if you select embedded and sidecar, that's going to give you the quickest uh, view of your images after you import them. It just renders the image quickly. It actually uses uh, the preview that's on your camera um, that stored it within the file as the preview in Lightroom instead of you having to wait for it to generate previews. It just uses that. So select embedded plus sidecar. Next, I just would select don't import suspected duplicates. If you've got more than one of the same image, it won't import it. That way you don't have duplicates of things. In file renaming, I wouldn't worry about that for now. I would just leave file renaming. We'll deal with that later. Apply during import. Again, don't worry about that. I would just leave that alone for now. Come down to destination. This means where do you want your photos to go once they're imported? So for me, since I usually import them from the card, I want them to go somewhere. So I'm going to navigate to that photos go here directory that I created in the last video. If you're not sure where that is, I'll put a link somewhere up here uh, to that or a little card that'll pop up so that you can get back to that video to see where we put them. Generally, that's going to be on an external hard drive. Select my photos go here. Now, if you want, you can import it into a subfolder, but for now, I'm just going to create, uh, just bring the photos into this overall folder. I'll get into organizing photos and the structure that I use uh, in another video, but for now, we're just trying to get the photos into Lightroom so that you can use them and start editing them. So I'm just going to select the photos go here, and then I'm going to select import. The Lightroom will then go through and import all your photos and bring them into the location that you chose. And since I did copy, they're going to stay where they were originally. And most of the time for me, it would be they would stay on my camera card. I always do that because I want to make sure that everything works out fine without any issues. Now that 
the photos are imported into Lightroom, you see it's converting all of them to DNGs, which takes a minute, uh, depending on how many photos you have. So there you go. That's how we bring our photos into Lightroom. Now you're all set up. You can get working with them, start developing them. You can organize collections, all kinds of fun stuff that we'll get into uh, in future videos here. But this at least shows you the quickest way you can get your photos into Lightroom. And in the next couple videos, I'm gonna talk about some of the options that you have when you're importing your photos, as well as how I organize my photos and uh, how you know maybe you can come up with a system that works for you. Because you gotta organize your stuff, otherwise it's gonna be everywhere. How are you gonna find it? So I wanna thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this video. If you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you wanna really know Lightroom and you're just getting started in it, consider subscribing because we're going to be going through a lot of videos here of how to do all kinds of things in Lightroom, all the little tips, tools, tricks, things that I do, and uh, hopefully it helps you out there learn Lightroom a little bit better. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.